You're listening to Tell Me Everything on Sirius XM Progress 127. Follow along on Twitter at John Fugelsang. That's who Keith Price, actor, comic, writer, broadcaster extraordinaire. Keith was the first openly gay black radio host at Sirius XM. He co-anchored the morning show on the Breakthrough OutQ channel. Be sure to catch his wonderful Broadway podcast, Keith Price's Curtain Call. We have missed our comedy daddy. Welcome back, Keith Price. Darlings, how are you? I'm Happy belated good. Independence Day. <laughs> how was your Independence Day, comedy daddy? Did you have a good it time? Was, I had a great time. I actually met up with an old friend of mine, Wink Wink, and I think we had a great time making fireworks of our own, if you know what I'm saying. Ew, no way. Hello. Oh, how disgraceful Ooh. of you to enjoy yourself with... How, <laughs> how, how, how dare you enjoy your liberty on America's Day, Keith? What's wrong with you? <laughs> honey, that's exactly what's wrong with me, honey. That's what's right. The one wow. good thing about America, baby. Make your own fireworks. How you We living? do these things on Zoom. I haven't seen Keith this giggly in like a year. This is kind of delightful. Can I, can I fuck this guy? Give me his number, please. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you happy. Oh, well, you know, it's been a minute. How you doing? But, you know, it's fleeting. It's fleeting. You know what I'm saying? Well, but at the is. same time, it's been, it's been okay. You know, it's just a lot of time working. You know, I love being where I am in the theater scene. So it's kind of fun watching things happen, which is, it's fun. It's just been a fun few weeks, it's lo low drama. You know, the rest <laughs> of the world is falling apart, but my world is starting to slowly, small pieces are starting to come together. So I'm I'm trying to live in that zone. You know what this I mean? This is like... so nice to hear. I'm really, really glad to hear this. <laughs> and of course, we, we owe all of this to uh, the Britney Spears musical on Broadway, which has completely turned you around. <laughs> And made you a Britneyite, hasn't it? The she beginning, softened you were, me. She softened me. You were sketch me. on this thing. You were sketch on this jukebox I, musical about yes, Britney. Yes, I was. And, and, yes, and time I was. went on. And my God, they have just they've 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 brought you down, haven't they? You're now. They in brought the me down. But you know what it is? Is that it's because it's one of those few moments whenever you get to see if you really love the art of making musical theater to watch a show change from the first time you see it and watch it over a period of weeks because i mean it yes. was a very long uh what you call it here to watch the things that they've done to change the story to make it work for what they're working with now that's frozen and to get from that point to the point that they are now it's a it's a really amazing journey to watch creatively and then yeah. at the same time remember that it's creative and commercial and yeah. watching them try to bridge it you know so yeah, and then again, you know, all right. And help me they, out. It's, they not, got it's me. not a, it, and it, and it's not a story of Britney's life, right? There's no, no. S -s -s number about the conservatorship. It's a, no. it's one of these things like the Billy Joel show where they just put all their songs <laughs> together and create a flimsy story around it. Right? They yeah, you create a flimsy story with the music and you make it work. And and the, really, the story itself is very campy. It's it's like when you look at it from a campy place, because this is the thing. If you go to the theater where the marquee is, where they're they're doing this once upon a one more time, on yeah. that same block in that same little window of time, that big giant uh, breezeway, on one side you've got Stephen Sondheim right across the street giving you um, Sweeney Todd, very right nice. to the very front of the uh, you know right on the across the street away from the alley you've got Hamilton, sounds great. <laughs> you know. On the other end of the, the breezeway, you've got Kimberly Akimbo, which just won the Tony Award for Best Musical, best musical. with Janine yes. Tesori and all of those folks. And then you got Some Like It Hot right at the other end of that same alley in Schubert. And so it's like you realize that there is enough interesting musical theater in just those five you know, places that I've just given you to where everybody gets what they want. And... People are walking out very, very happy. They're dancing. They're, you know, singing the Britney songs, and they're having a wonderful time. And you That's know what? Great. You cannot shish kebab on top of that. You got to let people no. have that. Let them have it. Because again, Sweeney Todd's right across the street. Hamilton's course, right no, on the other side of you. Yeah, no. I mean, the competition's there. The neighbors are watching. Right. Again, we got to say we're talking about the people who come to the theater, who don't die of heat stroke <laughs> in New no. York City. Right, because that's why they're going it's, now. It's been a rough couple of days here. We got to testify. We gotta yes, bear witness. Lord. It's been a but rough you know what? I talked to my friends in Texas, and um, yeah, I try not to. I, I feel like we're we're kind of gloating now. You know, we're we're in a cool breeze compared to some of those places in Texas where they were like hitting the hundreds over the weekend. Yeah. and so oh, yeah, no, it's terrifying. 
you know, I mean, so yeah, but it's a great escape too. So <laughs> get your theater, go see a Broadway show and sit in some air conditioning. <laughs> well, 